this is the project controls mentor and in today's video I'll be teaching you how to download and install Oracle Primavera P6 from the official website so let's get started okay so once you have your Chrome open uh, you're gonna type in edelivery.oracle.com I'm gonna put that link in the description below as well you say enter and you get a landing page here uh, which says Oracle Software Delivery Cloud. So all those Oracle softwares are actually stored here. So if you already have an account, you just say sign in, but obviously you don't have an account. That's the reason you are, you know, trying, you don't know how to download P6, right? So uh, we're gonna create an account. So I'll just, uh, so yeah, so these are the details you need to fill in to create an account. You need to put your email address, your password, your country, uh, the name, job title, work phone, company name, address, city, etc. All this up to here. You, you don't need to send this. So I'll just fill this up really quickly and then I will show you the next step. All right, so I have filled in all the information. I have just blurred out some details which I don't want you guys to see. <laughs> And I'm just gonna hit create account. You don't have to send this, send me marketing information. Just click create account. And it's gonna get your account created. Check your email. So you're gonna get an email. Uh, you're just gonna get it right away. You see, you get this here, your Oracle account. You click this and you say verify email. All right, so it should say success your account is ready to use i'm going to say continue okay once i hit continue all right you go to the sign in page again and put in your credentials so my new email was um okay uh, email class at gmail.com and your password and you say sign in. All right, just save the password. Okay, so you, this is the delivery um, you know, page where you get to select your software. So you say Primavera. So get all these things. So I hope we get it right away. Here you go. So this is the thing you need to select. This is Primavera P6 Professional Project Management. And you click this and search. So you get all these um, versions. So you have the latest version here, 21, 20, 19, etc. But I usually use this version because this is kind of more stable. You could also go ahead and use this, but let's just select this I click this so it goes to added to download queue now I go to the view items okay once I click this come on or continue sorry I hit continue I get this platform uh, the these are the items that are going to be downloaded okay so you select Obviously, uh, nowadays, most of our systems are x64, but if it's 32-bit, you can go ahead and use that. I'm gonna select this, and then I'm gonna say continue. All right, so these are just the standard terms and conditions. You see, I have reviewed all this. Okay, and let me just move this here, and I say continue. Let me just put this here back again. Okay, you could give them a feedback or whatever. Uh, never mind. I'm just gonna close this. Okay. Now, what is it? What does it say? It says you may download files using Download Manager, etc., etc., etc. Doesn't matter. You are just gonna select all this and hit download. All right. Let's see now. So you get this here this is the file let me go in the show in folder and this is the application i hit this 
All right, so this is the destination, download location. Let's just hit, uh, you can just put it in the downloads folder for now. These are the download files, by the way. That was just an application that compiles it all in one package. So I hit next, and then it starts loading. Perfect. And then it starts downloading. So it's going to take a while, so I'm just going to wait. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back when it's downloaded. See you. All right, so we are back and this is completely downloaded. All those files, these are zip files. Okay, so once that's done, we go into this open. So this was the download manager, right? So let's see. Come on, open. Okay, so this is the one. So we hit um, this set of file. All right. So once we uh, double click set of file, we need to just say typical. We say okay. We say install. You give it permission. Okay. So once it gets installed we need to just keep it selected as run database configuration and we hit OK. And then it asks you for the driver type. You need to select the standalone P6 Pro standalone SQLite and we hit next. Uh, we change this to a new standalone because this is the first time you're using this and we hit next. And we need to have a name set. So for example, I put my name and you need to have a password. Maybe you can just put a small password or a pin code to log in to the system, uh, log into the P6. And then you hit next and you keep this the same. You don't need to, hit, you can click this as load sample data. If you have this click, you get some samples of some projects with, which come built in with P6. So I just hit that. I don't need those because it's just gonna take some extra space and I had this, I had created this already. I'm just gonna overwrite this. I'm gonna say yes, and I'm gonna hit finish, and it should be installed. Now I hit the search, and I'm gonna search P6, and I get this here. I click this, and I'm gonna use the same password I just generated recently, and I'm gonna hit OK, and it loads the data and this is the error message this is a standard error message that you get with p6 uh, because the industry isn't set we can you know uh, rectify that once p6 has started so here you go p6 has started so the install was successful i go into admin i go into admin preferences and i change the industry to engineering because that's the most commonly used and we hit close so yeah that's it for this tutorial so we have p6 installed and you can start working on this i'll have more videos coming up soon where i'm going to teach you step by step on how to use this i'm going to use some examples of previous trainings i had attended and we're going to do this together all right thank you so much for um standing by and listening to this and hope you like the video hit that like button and subscribe button and see you next time